What up players, it's Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to my video unboxing these Dead Walker zombies for the Soul Blight Gravelords. You get 20 miniatures in the box. Let's take a look at what you get. This is the outside of the box. It just shows a variety of different miniatures. There doesn't seem to be any difference in the equipment. Like there's no special equipment highlighted. So it looks like they're just armed with a myriad of weaponry. First, let's take a look at the instruction guide. There you can see all of them. A variety of different poses, which is great. That's what you want to see in your shambling zombies. You don't want to see any two that look exactly alike. Okay, it shows you how they come together. So you can put a variety of different uh, heads on that's good add a bunch of different details to the ones that look like they have things on their backs and then at the back you've got your uh, your profiles Each armed with crude weapons and infectious bites. Yep, so it looks like it doesn't matter what you arm or equip them with because they've all got the same loadout. And let's take a look at the sprues, okay? Are they identical? They are. So, yeah, I just took a look. You get two sprues, they're completely identical. So, we'll take a look at one and then the other. It's real nice. I like the pitchfork. Yeah, let's look at the heads. Like you've got a, a variety of different uh, hair lengths. Some is in their face, some is not. Some of them have beards. Like this shovel. And then let's take a look at the other sprue here. This guy seems to have like a little bit of armor on his leg. I like that this one's got a bell over the grave. <laughs> Let's take a look real quickly at the other side. Here's that guy with the leg armor. He's got a sword, so you can tell this is a former soldier. Oh wow, there's actual script on this gravestone. Shield. Former soldier, maybe again. Oh, interesting. Look at the. Is this a, like a gown or a dress that this one is wearing. Yeah, it's like more of more of like a lady. Got a corset. Hey guys, we're Boss Tay from the future. This is where my microphone started glitching out, so I wanted to add and interject this little bit. One of the reasons why the models look so individual and unique is because the torsos and the legs all have different angles which you can put them on. So it's really easy to not have duplicates. Okay, back to War Boss Tay in the present. All right, and then you've got I said your other sprue exactly the same so I really like the variety that you get it's a lot 
easier, more intuitive to put a unit of these together. The uh, old zombies for Warhammer Fantasy were basically like put a torso on a pair of legs. The legs all look pretty similar and uh, you can't really make them look like they're shambling or that they have different angles to their bodies. They're all going to kind of just be standing upright and then you glue the arms on at different angles. These are way more characterful, more individual, and uh, I can't wait to put them together. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be building these guys up and putting them into my summer painting challenge this year. If you'd like to follow along with all of that, then you can click on the link in the discord down below and uh, join up. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to support my studio, the link is down below also for my Patreon and my uh, merch shop. And I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow for the next video. What up, players? Gandalf the Grey, up in Dismal. Support Warboss Tay Studios. For now, more than ever, Hobbiton is in desperate need of heroes. Heroes like Daniel Sprinkle, Scrag Fist, Picks, Dicey Guy, Play It Painted, and Logan Swanson.